Hey guys, it's Yuta, so let's do this. <laughs> I remember this TV program. <sighs> it's understandable. Speaking a foreign language can be quite embarrassing, especially when somebody like me might react to it. So, I'd like how she used mecha, which is a colloquial intensifier, which many real life Japanese people use. And her sentence is perfectly grammatically correct and it makes sense. But in this situation, we probably don't say watashi because it's obvious from the context. Remember, Japanese people don't say everything. We only say what we say. English speakers tend to overuse watashi because that's how they speak English, but Japanese is very different. But this is not exactly a mistake, so if you do this, it's not a serious problem. Her Japanese is very easy to understand and the sentences here are grammatically correct. But she used the wrong word, nyugakusuru, because it means to enter school. What she meant was, benkyosuru, which is to study. So she should have said, but this is a minor mistake and I could totally understand what she meant. So this is interesting because she translated the word intense into Japanese, which means kyoretsu. But we don't use kyoretsu in this way. So you could just say something like sugoi taihen deshita. It was very hard. This is perfectly understandable and grammatically correct. I would probably say something like sugoi benkyou ni narimashita in this context because manabu is kind of a formal word and people who learn a foreign language tend to learn formal words and expressions because that's what textbooks and apps teach you. But we definitely use manabu as well, so I wouldn't say this is unnatural. So here's what she said. Another interesting thing I noticed is that she ended each sentence properly. But in Japanese, in conversation, we actually often prefer not to end each sentence properly. Which again is very different from European languages because I noticed that in European languages, people tend to end each sentence properly even when they have casual conversation. So if I rewrite these sentences in a casual conversational way, it will be something like 3ヶ月間横浜デザイン学校で勉強したんですけど毎日9時から12時半まで勉強してすごい大変だったんですけどすごい勉強になりました So I connected all of the sentences and only the last sentence ends properly. But in a natural conversation, Japanese people often don't even end the last sentence properly because they are still thinking of what they're gonna say. But the thing is, if you write down these natural sounding conversations, it doesn't really look professional or proper. And that's one of the reasons why textbooks don't teach you natural conversational Japanese. But then again, if you speak the kind of Japanese textbooks teach you, it wouldn't sound very natural. That's why I will teach you the kind of Japanese that real life Japanese people today actually speak. So click the link in the description and subscribe to my email group. Again, this is grammatically correct Japanese and it makes total sense. But it doesn't sound quite right because the levels of politeness in these sentences are inconsistent. Minasan is a pretty polite way of addressing people. However, she ended this sentence with kite, which is what we call te form because it ends with te. This is fine if it's just in the middle of a sentence, but she ended this sentence here to address people, which means this also has to be polite. So she should have said, Minasan chotto kite kudasai. It's like, please listen to me. Now, I said a lot about how kudasai can sound abrupt in many situations, but in this situation, it's fine. Now, I could still understand what she said, but she made a very common pronunciation mistake that many English speakers make. She said something like hokoku, but it should be 
報告 and the key difference is the length of each syllable. I can use this concept mora to explain this. Mora is a timing unit. It's very similar to syllables, but the thing is, one syllable can have several moras. Hōkoku has three syllables because in Japanese, o tends to become just one long vowel. O, ho, one syllable, two moras. Ko, one syllable, one mora. Ku, one syllable, one mora. So, ho needs to have two moras. But the way she said hōkoku sounds like ho just has one mora. So, that doesn't sound quite correct. It should be ho koku, not ho koku. So remember this. Ima, watashi no nihongo wa super broken this. Doesn't sound super broken to me at all. Actually, her grammar and pronunciation is better than many English speakers who are learning Japanese. But maybe she's just being modest, which is the right thing to do in Japan. So here she directly translated text into Japanese. Texto. But in Japanese, we actually say line suru because we use this app called Line, which is a messaging app to message each other. It's interesting that both languages have a way to make nouns a verb. It's like to Google, as in, can you just Google it? Which, by the way, becomes Guguru in Japanese. Japanese verbs often end with ru, so we often add ru to make a noun a verb. Or you can just add suru, just like line suru, which would be to line in English. This is an interesting sentence. It's grammatically correct, it makes kind of sense. But I find it confusing, and the first time I heard it, I had to think about it. And it's all because of very subtle things. So let me rewrite this sentence to make it less confusing. I would say something like, Now I removed Taksan because we probably wouldn't use Taksan in this context, but this is not an important change. The important change here is the extra wa I added. The original sentence was Nihongo ga wakarimashita ga, but my version is Nihongo wa wakarimashita ga, because the original sentence sounds like, well, before I went to school, I could understand a lot of Japanese, but after going to school. So it sounds as though she was just comparing before and after going to school. But my version sounds more like she was comparing her comprehension skills and her speaking skills. Words like wa are called particles. And in Japanese, particles can add a lot of different nuances. But this is very subtle, so I think I'm gonna make another video to explain this in more detail for people who are learning Japanese on my second channel. So. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my second channel. I think a lot of people who are trying to speak Japanese are really embarrassed to talk. I almost didn't notice that she switched to English. And this is what happens if you're used to situations where people speak several languages at the same time. But I also think the reason why her Japanese sounds actually pretty good in terms of pronunciation is her tone of voice is quite Right. I think we tend to speak more quietly than English speakers. And also, she doesn't exaggerate Japanese sounds like many English speakers. And as a result, when she speaks Japanese, it actually sounds like she's pretty comfortable speaking Japanese, which is a very good thing. Yeah, so she's talking about particles here. And they're often pretty difficult for non-native speakers. But the good news is, even if you don't quite use the particles correctly, we can most of the time understand you from the context. So particle mistakes in daily casual conversation are not usually serious. So she's talking about an anime called Shimajiro. And this phrase is perfect. Shimajiro wa kodomo no anime desu. Soshite 
アニメの日本語は簡単です。English speakers often use the word そして but そして is a rather formal word. Yes, we do sometimes use it, but in a casual video like this, we probably wouldn't use it. So, what do we use instead? Well, we use t e f o m that I mentioned earlier, and we also actually just use de. So, if I make my own version of these sentences, it will be something like Shimajiro wa kodomo no anime de nihon go ga kantan des. I used de here. Now, why did I use ga instead of wa here? <laughs> This is a very tricky thing to explain, so I think I will try to explain that in my. Upcoming video on my second channel. もちろん学ぶことはたくさんあります。でも私は6ヶ月前よりも上手です。I like how she said she was better than she was six months ago. When you learn a language, there will be a point where you feel like progress is very, very slow or you're not progressing at all. But as long as you're consistent, if you compare yourself to how you were six months ago, You will actually notice that there's progress. I've definitely felt like my English wasn't getting any better in the past, but if you watch my videos that I made five years ago, you can actually see that my English is better now, so I can still make progress, which is very encouraging. Hi, Mina san, what is your Nihongo? I actually like how she sounds in Japanese, and it sounds pretty good. Of course, there's room for improvement, but I think she's on the right track. At her level, it makes a lot of sense to watch easy anime or TV shows or YouTube videos, which you can also do if you learn Japanese with me because I will teach you the kind of Japanese the real life Japanese people today actually speak because textbooks and apps can be unnatural and outdated. So click the link and subscribe to my email group, Japanese with Utah.